Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and doing everything, everything we can, ladies, to hold on to our pretty. And I want to give a warm welcome back to my returning subscribers. I appreciate your love and support you show me each week. Now, ladies, I'm going to have to take a moment here and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all your prayers for all your well wishes because I had the COVID and when I tell you COVID took the pretty COVID took the pretty and it's still wreaking havoc and I, I my voice may come and go I had you know thought I was over it and then it hit me again a couple of days ago like wham dead in my chest so it feels like there's a pressure here I thought it was over it but you know we shall carry on. There's so much going on in my life right now. I, COVID was the last thing that was needed. But you guys were so encouraging and so uplifting. And when I tell you that last video I did, it was coming down on me then. And I was trying to edit it. I was like, oh, oh. But then I would read. Then I read all of your responses. And you, you loved what I did. It just made me feel so good, even though I was feeling so bad. So that being said there's something special about having a group of strong women just uh, you know holding you up lifting you up cheering you on and i want to give that right back to you and thank you thank you so much everyone so today i've got my little palm uh, tea that i'm trying to drink on <coughs> so if, if my voice comes and goes we'll get through it the hair is just up and um Lipstick of the day is, I, I, I try to do something different. I wanted to do a little different mouth today. And this was one of my hair, real hair. If you're not familiar with real hair. And the color is sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it's a kind of a pink color tone. And I did a, did a MAC pencil, plum pencil outline. And then I put a little bit of my Tom Ford gloss on there. You've seen that before. I also had one of my subscribers say they love the lipstick of the day, but I need to talk about my nail polish of the day. And I do my nails every week. I did them yesterday, even though I was still kind of sick. But the polish I use almost exclusively is something by Olive. It's called Olive. It's a company called Olive and June. You can't see it on here, but um, polishes are great. And this color is. Um, what is it? Uh, pink sand. So I like a lot of neutral colors, but I have a powder blue by them. I have another more denim blue. I have my plums, my reds, my chocolates, orangey, bright colors. But Olive and June, I will list their, uh, uh, their website below. Check them out. I mean, their top coat is excellent. Uh, they have a ridge filler coat for us old people nails and just their, their fingernail files that file is the best in the land and they always have kits and everything they even have if you want to do your your toes they have the the foot care to the pedicure all right moving right along ladies what are we going to talk about this week oh, before i even get to that i have one more thing i want to show you i purchased recently i haven't had a chance to style it i haven't had a chance to wear it because my world's been topsy-turvy but I'm going to get to it but I, I, I've been wanting to share this with you this is a purchase I made from Michael Kors let's unbag it now it's okay you say yeah that's just a baseball hat okay how do you get into this contraption it's a baseball cap and I'm not real big on baseball caps let me just get some scissors I'm not real big on baseball caps because to me the bill is so so out here it puts such a shadow and I guess that's for the ball for the sun but look at this hat ladies and tell me look at that chain on it look at that it's very light though it's almost probably it's more plastic than anything because otherwise it would be so heavy it would drag you know drag you down I think it was I think it was $58 and they had 20% off or 30% off but look at that and you know What's this to remind you of? Remember my, ch I, I pulled it out here. My chain from Express. Oh, this is a lot heavier. It's the same 
big link chain you know so i just want you to know i'm going to style this some kind of way because i'm going to wear this this one and the bill doesn't look too long but that chain just got me and they have another one uh, like a little bucket hat in black that's got the chain all around it i want that one too but i kept saying where are you going with all these little hats but this one ladies i'll list it below get it we can be twins triplets whatever we could we can be classic simple and pretty <laughs> And moving on. So that was what I really wanted to show you. I really wanted to share that with you. I've been wanting to show you that hat, that cap hat, whatever, since it came. But this week, I, you know, I was, I've, I've been so tired and exhausted from the COVID. But I, I have a piece that I bought last end of the season. I think it was in the summer, going into fall. And I didn't, I think I used it in one video. If I can find a picture, I'll put it up here to show you how I, styled it then but I just put three looks together to show you this piece it's, it's um, I call it white denim it's kind of an off-white denim piece uh, like a shirt jacket jacket dress whatever I'm going to show you three looks with that and spend a little time with you before my voice goes away <laughs> we'll get through it I'm trying not to talk too much but again ladies thank you thank you thank you let's get started let's get the show on the road look number one is very casual okay bye it's springtime it's a nice day it's maybe sunny put your shades on and this is the piece ladies this is like it's denim it's very lightweight denim look at that the pockets up here pockets right here I mean is this not a lovely piece I got this at Dillard's Near the end of the season and it was like what are you, i'm gonna wear this with sorry for the thread right there but look at that ladies and i got great saturday afternoon shopping pull out my tory birch bag to drop everything in what a lovely lovely look a little beige amber colored shades amazon amazon has the best shades if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want some style Amazon for your shades, ladies. You can't go wrong. Oh, now let's look at this. Look at this. Great look. It's got the brown tortoiseshell buttons. I love that. And it's, it's just an off-white, white-looking shirt coat. And so to wear it like this is great. You know, it just it op opens up down the front. Just a great look. Just a great look. We can do things with this, right, ladies? We can work with this. What I, I wish it didn't, you know, I love that it has a belt, but I wish the loops weren't, you know, permanent like that so that I could just wear it just straight. And I guess, you know, I could tie it in the back and wear it or... And I just have on my tennis. These are some jeans from H&M from last year. I think this top is from h and I'm not sure. Little, yeah, I think I did get this top at H&M. Just a casual. And I'm telling you, ladies, just so you know, I'm doing all neutrals in these three looks. I'm doing them just in the neutrals because I wanted to, to play up just the neutrals. But sometimes we can be neutral and stand out too, right? <laughs> oh, I didn't show you. I know you remember my my black bracelet by Tory Burch. I have a black one like this. It's time I can wear the white one. It's time to wear the white one now with the tees. It's just a leather strip. Love it, love it, love it. I have on my white Michelle watch. Time to pull that out too. This is my heart right here. I got this at Saks a couple of years ago. And my voice is trying to walk away from me now. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. And I'm going to put together another look for you with the neutrals and have some fun. <laughs> Don't go away ladies, I will be right back with the next look. Bye. It's all about neutrals, right ladies? Look. <laughs> keeping it neutral, keeping it natural, keeping it classic, simple, and pretty. Change the shades to a, with a gold trim on them. Pulled out my Rebecca Minkoff bag. You know I love this handbag. I don't get to feature it enough. But let me set these glasses down. I have on just some tan colored pants from Ann Taylor that I've had. 
there's elastic in the waist, really nice, comfortable pants, neutral color. And my Sam Edelman flats with the gold buckle. Hopefully you'll get to, I'll try to zoom in on that for you, show you those. And of course, <laughs> the elephant in the room, I know. The gold chain belt from Express. It always works, I just keep pulling it out, doing something with it, you know, doing something with it. And so you know, this bag does have a shoulder strap. I just have it down in here, so it has a longer strap. But it's something about a top handle, handle handbag that just melts my heart. Just melts my heart. Even if it's a big one, I like a top handle. I like its own little top handle. Just adds to it, you know. But ladies, look at this. Another way to wear this. Dressed it up a little bit. It's a very casual piece with it being denim. But adding the chain belt, like a little dress. And, and not saying I wouldn't wear it as a dress. I just don't have the legs to wear it as a dress. You out there with those beautiful legs, put this on. And a nice pair of pumps. Oh, that would work for Mrs. Berry. And that's another thing about fashion. You have to learn what's comfortable to you, what works for you, what feels best, and, and feature your, your best features. Your, you know, you want to be comfortable with what you're showing. These legs, no. But I like this. This is so nice. It's a great piece. It's like a dress and a coat and a jacket. All in one. You to look at it. Really nice. Really nice. It looks like the sun has come on. I thought it was going to be a cloudy day today. But we got a little sunshine peeking in through the blinds. So I'm trying to bring the sunshine. And I am um, so thankful for your. For, look, I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> My throat is getting a little dry. But I got one more way I'm going to show you how to wear this. And I know you have a piece in your wardrobe similar. If not, start looking for it. This would be a great and a regular denim color. You know, if, when it gets real hot, no. But right now it's spring. You can wear it with some different things. But I'm going to show it to you one more way to, you know, play with it. Keeping it neutral. Keeping it neutral. We're going to keep it neutral. My fashion, my style, my age, my choice. I'll be right back. Ladies, how about a little bohemian funk? Add that to the mixture with these glasses sitting freaking on my head. Look at this, ladies. I, I went a little, little out this time. I have on my Quay shades. I love these shades in that peach color. Got them about a couple of summers ago from Nordstrom. But look at this. I pulled off the coach bag. My husband bought me when we were dating. It has the beige and a little bit of pink. And, you know, I kept saying, I didn't know about these belt loops, but look, I can get this belt through there. So if I wanted to do this type of belt with it, look at that. I can put that belt on with it. And this is an old summer, I think I got it last summer, H&M dress, very lightweight. No. I know. You see the sound element, bone colored boots. Tell me, that is not cute. That is really classic, simple, and pretty. Though, you know, I don't know if you wear the boots. We well, could. It's still spring. So the boots would be comfortable. But isn't that adorable? I mean, I feel like Joe Good on Middle Age Mix. You know how Joe, I love how she strikes her poses when she's showing off her her dresses and her outfits. This is for you, Joe. <laughs> but it's a great look. I've made, you know, I've created three looks that I could do with this denim, nice denim weight um, overdress. And I could have put, like you said, I could have put the boots on with just this, but I like that little bit peeking out at the bottom below it because I like that length better. But this dress is just a summer dress. This is the belt to the dress I just tied around my neck. Something to do, you know. And look at this hair. But I love this, ladies. This is so much fun. When you get in your closet and can find something fresh from what's already there, just create a fresh look 
the last year's fashions, last year's pieces, two years ago pieces. Just create the look and come up with something that makes you feel beautiful and I'm out of breath. Sorry for that. <laughs> but again, you can create a look with a few great pieces, a few little touches, and you're stretching your dollar cost per work. And I, I don't know what I paid for this. It was end of the season. And Dillard's is the best place to get you some end of the season when they do so much off, extra 40 off the markdown. That's when you can grab some pieces. I bought some, a couple of pieces from at the end of summer, but I didn't get the wire. And I will show you those as we progress on. A really, you know, dress a couple. Of, I think I got a dress and a, some other kind of lace thing. I am trying to think and, and I'm trying to breathe and I'm trying to talk and I can't get my breath. That's all right. We made it through the day. I enjoyed this time. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and share it and, and subscribe and, and tell your friends. You know I'm here every Thursday, though I missed last Thursday. My goal is to be here every Thursday for you and share a little inspiration, share a little love, and give you the thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And ladies, we'll be back next week. I'll find something in the closet because I am inspired by Sharon and Age Restyling, Ageless Restyling. I am inspired by you. Anyway, ladies, go out there, be good. Leave a little kindness everywhere you go. Take care of yourselves and be thankful. Be happy. Love you. See you next week. Bye.